Hello YouTube. This is my new Aptura 60mm ED refractor. I just got it from High Point Scientific. I got it on my uh, standard tripod, my video tripod right now with a Canon 7D Mark II connected to the back. Um, in order to fit this, I had to take this fitting off of the back of the telescope, just threads off, and then Aptura makes the field flattener right here. It threads on, so it's not with a pressure fitting, it threads on. And then right here, I got a 58 millimeter um, T-ring adapter that fits my Canon. And it flush mounts and threads directly on to the uh, field flattener. So everything is solidly mounted to the telescope. The telescope comes with a Crayford type focuser here, the gross and then the fine tuning. It also came stock with the shoe mount adapter right here. So if I turn around from this side, you can see some of the markings on it. The build quality on this is great. The optics, this is FPL 53 glass. So this is very good glass in here. There's the logo. I take it from the front and put the dew shield back. You can see from the front end what it looks like. So I'm going to put this and mount this onto my uh, uh, Ioptron Skyguider Pro. Uh, before I do that, I'll take off this very heavy uh, uh, battery grip on here. And I'll just be running that without a, a battery. I'll use it, what I call a K Paxson brand uh, power supply. It goes right into the bottom of the DSLR and you eliminate the weight of any type of battery in there because the, uh, the adapter that goes in there weighs maybe an ounce at the most. So um, hopefully tonight or tomorrow night with clear skies, I'll be out trying to image something simple like Andromeda. And uh, when I do that, I'll probably shoot a video of that and give you the results of that at the end of it. So uh, from my end, uh, this is my latest rig, the latest permutation of what I'm going to use for imaging. I also have uh, uh, a batten off mask to put on the end of this. So I'll be in good shape getting this up and running. Um, anyway, see y'all later. Bye.